Issues at the top for Ford, uh, the Dearborn automaker parting ways with CEO Mark Fields, beginning in bringing in a new leader to revive sagging stock prices. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson live at Ford headquarters in Dearborn. The whole bunch of fallout today, Jonathan. Yes, yeah, Stephen, good afternoon to you. You know, Jim Hackett has been with Ford for a couple of years now, but it's his outside Winsay executives that ultimately got him the job. That and failing stock prices, shareholders said, were just unacceptable. He and I sat down on Friday and he decided to retire. That's the company line coming from Chairman Bill Ford on now departed CEO Mark Fields. But the writing was on the wall, say analysts. Shareholders frustrated over tumbling stock prices during Fields' nearly three-year tenure at the nation's second largest automaker had had enough insiders tell Action News. Recently announced layoffs weren't enough to appease those stockholders and Friday was judgment day. Mark had a tremendous career at Ford. 28 years to be exact, but when push came to shove, Bill Ford chose longtime friend and known turnaround agent Jim Hackett to lead the company. This morning, he was introduced. This is a, a time of unprecedented change, and time of great change, in my mind, requires a transformational leader. Hackett is known for turning around a struggling furniture empire and the University of Michigan's athletic program, now at Ford, he says. Try and come up with a competitive set about where we're going to play and how we're going to win. And uh, that clarity takes the top people in the company. A stone's throw from Ford's Dearborn campus, Miller's Bar, where Fields' exit was the lunchtime talk of shareholders. They had to do something. Paul Martin has been watching his investment crumble, he says. I have quite a bit of Ford stock. And how did you feel about where it's been over the last three years? <laughs> it, it, it's worth a lot less than I paid for it. So, no, I'm not happy with it. His wife, Lori. It's surprising it took so long, I guess, so. Yeah. You know, because Ford's been complaining for quite a while now that their stock values, you know, the whole company's just kind of down in the dumps, even though their sales are up and everything's good. So, yeah. there you go. Finally, we also inquire today about compensation for Mark Fields, what it's going to take for him to go away. We don't have those numbers just yet. Live in Dearborn, I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jonathan, thank you for that live report. Here's a look at the other new appointments as the company moves forward. Paul Ballou will become Vice President and Chief Data and Analytics Officer. Mark Truby will be VP of Communications. Marcy Cleavorn replaces Hackett as the head of Ford's Future Mobility Unit. Joe Heinrichs will oversee global product development, manufacturing and quality. And Jim Farley will become Vice President of Global Markets and will oversee Lincoln Sales and Marketing. All these will take on their new roles June 1st. Wall Street